When your brother and sister Helldivers are wounded, reinforcements are running out, and the communist tide is rolling in. Sometimes you need to step up and rally the squad to the win, even against impossible odds. I'm about to show y'all how using a well-rounded loadout allows you to answer any threat and gives your squad someone to rally behind so they can bring the fight back to those freedom-hating tin cans. Welcome to the SES Emperor of Democracy. My name is Commissar Kai. And today, we're going to be looking at how to use an all-rounder build to support our team against the bots by using good target priority and picking good places to fight. Laser Cannon fits this build nicely by being one of the most flexible support options against the bots. It's the best weapon in the game at taking out gunships, but it can also make short work of those factory striders and hulks by giving them some freedom-based LASIK surgery. Combined with some support from Eagle One and the Super Destroyer, this loadout stays flexible throughout the match, allowing you to rally your squad against even the direst of circumstances. Now that you know what the video is about, let's drop in and show the bots the heel of our boot. As we drop in and get set up, let's talk about our loadout and how we're going to use it. But first, I do just want to mention that this is the first time in my videos that I've played with a full squad that is on comms. So I'll be letting y'all listen in on certain parts of the game as they become relevant. Now for the loadout, the real star of the show is our support weapon, the laser cannon. This weapon is fantastic against the bots for three main reasons. It can take out all the heavy hitters of the bots by aiming at their weak points. This means towers, tanks, hulks, striders, that type of thing. It does not use ammo, instead relying on a heat sink, which is easy to manage by switching to your primary or secondary when it starts getting too hot. And finally, it does not require a backpack slot, so we can more easily make use of the team reload mechanic by picking up any spare backpacks. All these qualities make it easily a top tier weapon against the bots, especially when paired with stun grenades for those pesky hulks. Next up we have our primary, the Eruptor. This weapon is not critical for making the build work, but it does give us the ability to easily take out fabricators, and its damage is nothing to sneeze at either. That said, if you don't like the Eruptor for whatever reason, just bring your favorite primary instead. If you do swap it out, bring the grenade pistol just in case you need to pop a fabricator and your strats are on cooldown. We're also bringing the trusty Senator, since it pairs nicely with the Eruptor. One quick shot from our primary and a few shots from our pistol is enough to take out any Devastator in a little under two seconds. For stratagems, we're bringing the classic Commissar package of Eagle airstrikes, orbital gas strike, and the rocket sentry. I take these stratagems so often because they are supremely effective at clearing out big groups of bots, which seems to trouble a lot of my fellow helldivers. Feel free to swap out the orbital gas strike for the Gatlin barrage if you prefer, but we do want a low cooldown damage and stratagem to keep the bots honest and to buy ourselves some time. You can also swap out the rocket sentry if you'd like for another eagle or orbital, but I find it works wonders for just setting up a position and holding your ground. Sometimes you just have to plant your feet, dig your heels in, and dare those clankers to push you. And the rocket sentry is just really good at making that work. Now that you know the loadout, let's talk about our primary mission for this game. Learning how to rally our squad and get out of bad situations. To make this easier to understand, and we're going to break this concept up into three key points. First, we want to be able to identify whatever the main threat is that our team is facing. Sometimes it's a factory strider that no one can answer, and sometimes it's a detector tower in the distance that's just calling in wave after wave of clankers, as you can see here. Once we've identified the main threat, we want to come up with a plan to neutralize it so our team can keep laying into those bots without worry. Remember, it's better to execute a bad plan well than it is to execute the best plan poorly. Make a decision and follow through. Second, we want to learn how to prepare the ground we're about to fight on. When dropships are seeding the planet with communist filth, we want to give them a warm democratic welcome on well-prepared ground. This can mean setting up sentries, finding good cover, or prepping an eagle airstrike to just wipe them all out as soon as they touch the ground. Once you've identified the threat, pick the best place available to fight. Last but most importantly, we want to be flexible. Being a good team player is not about getting the most kills or doing the most objectives. It's about saving your team from bad situations. Whether that's lasering down some gunships pestering your team, or laying cover and fire and stun so your team can make it to cover. You want to stay flexible so you can react well to any situation. Try and avoid tunnel vision against the bots, because you might not see that patrol creeping up on your rear. If you like the sound of this game plan, then consider liking the video as well. That one click helps out a lot with my mission to spread cooperation and team play to the hell diving community. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel for more videos. If you want to drop in with me sometime, join the Discord linked in the description below. With that all out of the way, let's look at how we get our team out of this never-ending cycle of bot drops and dead hell divers. So here's the situation. 
I've just died. My team is all struggling. We've got a detector tower calling in patrol or calling in more drop ships, and all this combat is aggroing all the patrols in the area. So I need to reorganize my team and get them to move together as a unit. So listen in on how I do that. All right, y'all, here's something we need to do because this is kind of unique to bots, but you can lose the bots. So let's move over here. Get out of the way, and they'll stop. They'll lose interest. All right. Yeah, I'll see if I can free my spear and knock out the top turret on that walker, too. Oh my good, I'm running. Yep. I'm going with you guys. There is a tank. I'm calling I'm laser. aware. Can y'all get the main? I am on here? one HP. I'm nearly there. I'll come stand you. I'm nearly at you. I'll take the there hits. There are more gunships approaching. I got a rocket sentry back here, so get over here if you can. Affirmative. I'll see if I can loop back around to the... Uh... The detector tower. Oh, see if hole? we can cut off the breaches. Oh, there's so many gunships. There's that is a yeah, lot. I know, man. Counting at least, like, that. five guns. Wow, this got bad fast. I need I my rocket sentry to start targeting those. Oh wait, no. Oh, that's not good. He's targeting them. All right, I knocked out one, I think. I got heavy armor, so I can play the Vagdal game for my, a little bit. My uh, primary has a lot of uh, travel time. I don't know if I can hit these. I can do damage. That yeah. one ricocheted. I need my laser cannon. I'm gonna go back uh, before I don't know if I'm gonna live until the then. Too. Oh, there's too many heavy devastators. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I didn't okay, make it. Uh, don't my spear is still on cooldown for a while. Oh, that's my yeah. That was just a good thing. Oh, boy. I, I, can't, I can't hit these guys. I'm just, I'm just getting right, though. See, this is how most of my bot games go. That's why I stick to bugs. It usually doesn't... It usually doesn't go this bad this early. I believe. I <laughs> know not this early. Yeah, I trust it. Got an HMG emplacement, but got no good place to put it up yet. I made the mistake of going back to grab my stuff again. I can't damage these ships. I found the your HMG emplacement. I'm gonna try to use it. Now that I've got my laser cannon back, I can start dealing with this horrendous threat of these gunships. And this is going to help my team out a lot because, as you heard, they're struggling. This is not normal for them. They're not quite used to the hell dive difficulty bots yet. So I take my laser cannon. I'm going to just start picking out any gunship I can see while standing behind the biggest rock that I can find. This is what I was talking about with picking the pre or pick, preparing the ground to fight. I know I'm in a good spot because I already killed everything that was close to me, and I'm able to just kind of laser down these gunships one at a time while I rally my team to me. They're all coming towards me, and this is because the gunships are no longer circling overhead, wrecking their day. But I know the real problem is that detector tower calling in all these drops and aggro and all of those patrols. So I ask my team if they have an orbital precision strike available. They say they do not, so I need to immediately switch gears and come up with a new plan. Listen in. Alright, y'all, follow me, because this is what I know what's wrong and I know how to fix it. We are too close to that detector tower, we don't have a means to deal with it, so we're just getting constant bot drops. We need to get away from it. Okay. I'll but all it. the main objectives are focused around it. I know, but we gotta make some space or we're just gonna be stuck in this until we're dead. All right. Yeah, just regroup first. Get all your support weapons summoned, and we'll think about I'm something. I'm still on thirty-second yep. cooldown. Also, keep in mind that they are going to all approach us from the same direction now. Well, that's a good thing. We could toss their stuff. Exactly. Your, uh, right, what I got you, C3. Run. They're stunned. Got it. Going I'll try down. to knock out that top turret once my spear comes off cooldown. Oh, I dropped oh, an ego. I, I got ragdolled. It's alright. Just run. Fine. Oh, why did this angle right. that way? Spear. Affirmative. Right, yeah, my spear's cooldown ends in 10 away. seconds. I got mine. Uh, I can try to loop that. really wide around left if you guys want nah, nah, to see nah. if I stick, can knock out Stick that. together. Let, let me handle this for y'all. Like, uh, I'm trying to tell y'all how this shit works. So, like, we want to fight through this till the bots stop. 
because we're out of range of the detector tower now, so we can buy ourselves some breathing room. That's yeah, what's the maximum uh -huh. range on that anyway? I thought it was just line of sight. It's about 200 meters. I, I don't know exactly, but it's it's close to that anyway. All right, y'all, this way. We're gonna use this we're big cover. Uh, we are getting flanked. Yep, that's why right. we're moving over oh. here. Calling in this. Uh, everybody got their support weapons? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, reloading. I've got oh, a three gunships hey. inbound. Oh, three hey. gunships inbound. All right, all right, let's take those out. Um, Should I knock it out with my spear? Or would that be inefficient? Yeah, yeah. Use, use use the spear. Just use it. I called down a resupply, so you're good. Got that. I got right though. Two gunships remaining. Just use the resupply. It's right next to you if you need it. All right. I'm back. Where is my you spear? got this last one. I can't really see it. I'm trying. All right, it's dead. Okay, uh, yo, I, hey. think a, I think there's a tank I'm trying to lock on. All right, got it. Hey guys, we want to move before this blizzard is gone. So follow me. You thinking we should push up now? Yep, follow me. Get the fuck out of here. A two and four, follow C one. Picked up somebody's friend, Mary. After we got out of that horrific situation, me and N4 are off to do part of the primary objective. We're getting the launch codes. But I thought this was a good example of how to prepare the ground when you know a fight is coming. You see that red glow on the ground? That's a bot drop incoming. So as soon as I saw that, I tossed down my rocket sentry and I'm prepared to toss out my eagles. Because as you can see, massive bot drop doesn't matter. One eagle airstrike, boom, they're dead. This is why I love you, darling. But now I've got my rocket sentry covering my back. This is going to let me know if anything's trying to sneak up on me. But I know that a bot drop is not just one drop ship. So I'm going to make sure that I'm ready for the next one. So as you can see, what I'm doing here by being prepared, knowing there's a fight coming and getting myself ready, this really allows N4 to go do the primary and do those kind of hero plays where he's jumping into the middle of all these bots. And to help back him up, I'm trying to get the aggro of all the bots I can see to look at me because I know that he's basically in a pit right now. So he should be fine as long as I can lead these bots away from him after dealing with those drop ships. In this case, the primary threat was all of the bots that might have surrounded N4 and, you know, stop him from getting the launch codes. So my main objective was to cut these things away from him, not only because I care about my teammates, but also just because it's a smart play to do. We're, de you know, detaching the aggro, we're making the bots go in different directions, and we're making them clump up to get hit by all of our stratagems. But this is another part of being flexible. I know that I don't really have the means to kill these things right now because my eagles are on cooldown and I don't have my rocket sentry. So to keep myself flexible and utilize my team to the best of my abilities, I'm cutting my way back towards C3 and A2 because I know that they've got the ordinance to deal with these berserkers and that one hulk. So they tell me that fire support's coming in, so I'm just going to laser cannon as much as I can, but I see the spear rocket come in and I know that everything's good. But now I really want to go back towards N4 because him and I were kind of paired up and I want to make sure he's doing okay. This also plays into the whole flexibility team. I'm bouncing between my two teammates for whoever needs me. And since N4 was off by his lonesome, I wanted to go back him up. So we're able to clear out the few enemies that were left and we're able to move on with the rest of the mission. N4 and I just palled around the map taking out outposts and stuff, but this final outpost was giving us a real headache. We weren't able to get the final fabricator, so we ended up having to disengage. But this is going to be another example of just good old-fashioned team play, where after I deal with these gunships, him and I are going to go try to regroup with our squad because we know we can't handle this by ourselves. So I'm going to go up to him, we're resupplied up, I've got his extra spear backpack, and we're going to be able to make use of that good old assisted reload. So I want you all to have a listen and see how this whole situation plays out. Uh, 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 wait, 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 oh, okay. Yes, sir. I'm trying. Yeah, I forgot the landing on a tank doesn't work anymore. You got two shots. One shot. Yes, okay, it. where's the last guy? All right, that's all that, I got. That, that. You're going to have to reload. Back up a little bit. Yep. Oh, good call. All right. I'm firing on the tank from behind. All right, yeah, HMG came in clutch. A lot of rocket guys. 
There's a uh, uh, follow me in for you. Don't look behind oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't, nope, <laughs> nope. Oh my god. Don't, don't, don't look behind oh my you. God. That's, okay. that's, that is a bad <laughs> place to be. Reinforcing. Yeah, how is that thing against bug power? Uh, it's okay. Like, it, it does a decent amount of stagger, but it just doesn't have, like, the. I want this horde cleared uh, immediately, power. Hey, y'all, real quick, oh. head to that ping. Uh, go this way first. Okay. We'll come back for that, but do you see all of that over there? I don't want to do. fight that. So yeah, we're I just, don't want to fight that either. We're, we're going to leave this way, and we'll come back for it later. Yeah, maybe we can knock out, like, the broadcast and whatnot. Exactly, yeah, we'll go hit up the other objectives. And with that, we've covered most of what I wanted to talk about in this video, but before you click away, this part you're not going to want to miss because it's hilarious and it's awesome. But I do want to point out what I'm doing here. Me and N4 want to go on a bit of a commando mission to go finish off that fabricator we missed. So I tell my teammates that we want to do that. I go over and I drop the samples off so they can take it to extract while him and I go take out this final fabricator. But I'm just going to shut up and let y'all enjoy this. I'll see you at extract. You guys I, don't need that. We gotta call it in just in case. Sure. All right. We gotta use the spear ammo. I've got one shot left. Oh, there's already a resupply out there. Let's see if those airstrikes take out the factory. I don't think so. You gotta be kidding me. All right, All right we got a pretty strong fortified position I here. We got an it. HMG to it. Hell bomb, oh, reload. Spears. You might not have a lo rocket loaded. No, it was full. It was full. I promise oh, it was full. Weird. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. We, we did this the old-fashioned way. You gotta be kidding me. Where is this thing? It's I in the back. I see it. I'm throwing. I might die here, but that's okay. Right. Land on it, Kai. Please. Uh, it's. Oh, did you reinforce me? Alright, I'm yes, landing. Yes, I did. I'm right, I'm landing. Oh, oh, my fucking hero. Nice. I am so oh, goddamn no, no. proud of you. You better live through this mission. <laughs> Get to the evac troops. Yes, sir. <laughs> I will hold them off as long as I can. God. Fuck you, robots. <laughs> this shit is so funny. Do you role play every time you play? What do you mean role play? This is who I am. I'm serious. <laughs> Alright, have many new Q All right, we got just... a pretty strong defensive position here. Yeah. Just of course I'm back. still alive. I fucking love this guy. This is Pelican One. Oh. Oh, Devastator. Watch out. Uh, You're back. Yeah, All right, you. yo, get get in the thing. Whoever has the samples, get in the thing. I'll try and hold it down. Grabbing the last sample. I got him. Running. Hulk. Calling Orgo Laser. Fire trap. Boom it up. I'm my last stem. Alright, everybody on the bus. Let's go. We got samples, right? We got samples. Alright, they're all back. I'm not dying this time, so help me God. Woo! We did it, boys! GG. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, yeah, easy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the run, y'all. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I just want to give a special thank you to my teammates for being such good sports. It was a blast playing with y'all. And if anybody else wants to hop in for a game sometime, link to the Discord's in the description. But until next time, this is Commissar Kai, signing out.